Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am having kind of a relaxing day. It's a self-care day for me so I wanted to kind of take you through my more luxury self-care day routine here from in the shower to kind of putting on my body care and just kind of getting ready for the day. I am going to be going over some of my more higher end, more luxury self-care products in this video, but you guys know all the time I'm always talking about a wide range of price ranges from affordable to more high end, and I just wanted to kind of give some love to my high end today. This video is sponsored today by Lily Silk, and I thought it would be perfect for this luxurious video today because Lily Silk makes 100% silk products for from clothing to pillowcases, scrunchies, there is so much on their website. Their products are 100% silk from mulberry trees and they are seriously the softest, smoothest material ever. So they did send over a few products I wanted to talk about real quick today. I am wearing their silk blouse here, which I love this. I was not sure how I was going to feel about it, but oh my goodness, this is so comfortable. And what's nice is it's actually very dressy looking, but it feels like pajamas. Like it feels like you're wearing a silk pajama top. Oh my gosh, I love the blouse is seriously so nice. It's extremely well made, very good quality. The next thing I want to talk about is their silk scrunchies. If you guys have not tried silk scrunchies yet, you need to get on the bandwagon here because it is so good for your hair. I will not use regular hair ties anymore. Silk scrunchies are the way to go because they do not cause breakage and they do not leave any creases in the hair. So that is pretty much all I use and they have a variety of different sizes of scrunchies. They also sent over one of their silk sleeping masks. Now this is something that you would probably use if you're like taking a nap during the day and really want to block out any light. If you're traveling or on an airplane, these are really nice and it's so gentle on the eye area. Your eye area is so delicate so it's nice to have something just very soft and smooth covering that. That's not going to kind of tug at the skin. So that's why I really love these sleeping masks. And speaking of good for your skin products and for your hair, I would definitely recommend their silk pillowcases. I have mine on my pillow right now and oh my goodness, it's just so soft. And this material is so slick so your hair just kind of glides on it at night. Whereas if you had like a cotton pillow, it would kind of move around a lot more causing more friction and causing more frizz and damage to your hair as well as your skin. In. So it's not causing as much friction on the face. It's really good for your skincare too because your skincare does not like soak into this as much as it would like a cotton pillowcase. So if you guys have not tried silk pillowcases yet, these are seriously the way to go. I feel like they're just soft and I get a really good night's sleep with them as well. They have a multitude of different colors on their website, but I chose the gray um, just so it's not something too girly. Like my husband can still use them as well. Uh, I try not to have too much pink in my room, even though I love pink. So that's just a little bit about Lily Silk and a few of their products that I enjoy. I will have the link to these things down below as well as a discount code for you guys to check out. I really want to check out like their bedding in their pajamas now that I've tried this top. Oh my goodness, so amazing. But let's go ahead and get into my luxury self-care routine here. So I like to start off the day by choosing a candle. I wanted to go for something very kind of comforting. So I wanted to burn this Kringle candle called Grey. This is so good. It's like a sandalwood and a vanilla kind of scent. It's incredible. So I just placed this and wanted to start that today to kind of set the mood. Ignore it. It does have a Bath and Body Works lid because I lost the lid of it. And then we are heading into the shower here to start our hygiene routine. And we are going to start, of course, with hair care. 
So I'm using my favorite Pureology NanoWorks Gold Shampoo. This stuff is the best if your hair is really going through it. I have color treated bleached hair, so this really helps kind of heal everything and it's actually very anti-aging as well. It's one of the best. So I like to kind of split my hair up into two sections since I do have a lot of it and I just shampoo both sections so that I can get them equally saturated and usually I will sometimes go in with a second cleanse as you can see this doesn't lather up a ton so my second cleanse will definitely get more of that lather going and I will make sure it's all rinsed out for our treatment, I'm going in with this Way one. I have a little sample size of this hair mask. Since we're going for a self-care day, I wanted to do a mask. Sometimes I'll just do conditioner, and I just make sure I get this through the mid to end strands of my hair, and I typically do like to brush my mask through. So I will put this mask on and let it sit while we do the rest of our body care, um, just so it sits for a long time and really conditions the hair. Next, we are going to cleanse the skin. I'm using one of my favorites, the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is a really nice, gentle cleanser. I like using something gentle just to kind of be a hydrating cleanser so it's nothing too harsh on the skin when we go in with our other skincare. So I just make sure my face is super duper cleansed. I am going to exfoliate the body today as well. I'm using one of my favorites from Kopari, their exfoliating crush scrub. This smells so good. It's one of the best. So I make sure my body is very exfoliated. I like to do this too before shaving my legs especially, which I will be doing today as well. And I just really love the consistency of this scrub. Next, I'm going to take my L'Occitane shower oil. This is the almond scent. I love this stuff. It is very foamy, but it's super moisturizing on the skin. I love to use this as like a shaving gel as well, but you could also use this as just a shower gel because it does lather up really nice, but it's great for shaving the legs. So I did use this today on my legs to shave after I exfoliated the skin. It gets a really smooth shave. So sometimes I'll leave it at that, but I'm going to go in with another shower gel. This is the Sol de Janeiro one. It smells just like the body cream, their Boom Boom cream. And I'm just going to put this on as my last step for cleansing and adding some extra scent. I'm just using a wet washcloth. These are nice to use because you can rewash them and it's good for your skin. It exfoliates a little as well. So now just throwing my hair up in the towel. I'm going to put my slippers on and we'll head into my other room to start our body and skin skincare. So for the body, I'm going to go ahead and look at what we have. I'm going to go for something more luxury. So I'm dipping into my L'Occitane Almond Oil. This is an oil spray. So I like to use this as kind of a base. And then I'm grabbing my Laura Mercier. This is the Almond Coconut Milk Body Cream to add some scent and moisture. So the L'Occitane you just spray on and rub in. And this I will put on right after the shower, making sure everything is hydrated. And then we'll go in with our Laura Mercier cream on top of that and that's going to kind of lock in that scent as well as give us some more hydration. This stuff is super creamy and it smells incredible like good enough to eat it's so good so now that our body is moisturized i did go ahead and throw on this silk blouse from lily silk and i'm gonna go to my hair now so i'm gonna use my purology strength cure spray just as my leave-in conditioner here to brush through my hair this just helps it detangle easily but this is a really good conditioner for the hair if you guys have tangles like i do i have fine hair so it tangles really bad so making sure i get through all of that with my brush and then I'm gonna go in with my IGK good behavior in Moroccan oil light treatment I'm just kind of making a little hair cocktail together and I'm gonna smooth this through my ends this will offer frizz protection heat protection and just make my hair really silky smooth uh, before I go ahead and style it 
Going into my skincare drawers, I'm gonna pull out a face mask. I don't usually do these in the morning, but today I am because I'm not planning to put makeup on today. So I'm using this new Juice Beauty one that I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm using this headband to just get my hair out of my face so it doesn't touch my face mask. And just going to apply this all over. I've been having some breakouts on mostly my chin area, so I'm hoping that this will really help with that. So I'm just smoothing this all over on the skin. And you only have to leave this one on for one to two minutes. Minutes, so I don't want to leave it on too long because then that could be a little bit harsh so I'm gonna wash this off fairly quickly I really liked this mask I thought it made my skin look super smooth next I'm gonna go and grab a moisturizer so I'm grabbing my drunk elephant Lala retro I'm just keeping it simple today also grabbing a lip cream and an eye cream as well for my skincare since we did a mask I don't want anything too harsh so this is how my skin looked after the mask I'm going in with the drunk elephant cream I love how this one pumps on the top and I'm just gonna hydrate the face I wanted extra moisture today and then of course gonna dip into my alginist eye cream this is my favorite just to hydrate those under eyes and of course applying my lip mask as well I cannot go without a lip product So after that, I'm gonna pick my perfume out for the day. I'm gonna go with something more luxury. So I'm going with my Victor and Rolf bonbon down here and I'm going to apply this to all my touch points on my skin and I apply this on my clothes. I do spray quite a bit um, since I'm not using any other sprays today. This will be our main scent of the day. So I did let my hair air dry a bit and I grabbed a coffee. <laughs> I needed an iced coffee today. It's so good. This is a local shop and I'm going to do my hair with my Dyson today. So I'm just taking the blow dry side of this. I love this tool. I love the straightening tool and the blow drying tool and I am going to use the curler today as well. But I just make sure especially my roots are dry before I use the actual air wrap curler because I like it to be almost dry <laughs> and not super soaking wet because then it doesn't hold as well. So then I just kind of comb through everything. I'm going to split my hair into two sections using my Lily Silk Scrunchie. And uh, I like to do this just so I have two sections to do the curling with. And then I'm going to grab my Dyson Airwrap Curler. I do have the long extensions on this one. And I like to do mine two different ways. This is just the regular way where you wrap it up. I like to wrap the ends in first and then kind of twist it up. Um, let that sit for about 10 seconds and then do the cool shot for 10 seconds as well. But there is an another technique that I also like to use with this curler. So the second way is a little bit easier for me. I just wrap it around like a normal curling rod around this and you don't even have to change the directions of the barrel and this gives me pretty loose curls as well. It's not tight curls. If I want that, I'll go in with an actual curling iron, but I love kind of the blowout look that this Dyson gives me and it's no heat as well. So then I'm going to go in with my Moroccan oil hairspray to make sure everything is coated with that so it's not going to budge and I do let that sit for maybe 10-15 minutes before I go in and then comb through the hair. I mostly comb through the top very gently just to kind of separate everything, make sure the curls all blend together, and I'll use my fingers towards the end to separate everything. So that's kind of what my hair ends up looking like. I grabbed my coffee and I also grabbed my kitten and we're headed over to the couch because we're going to binge watch some Euphoria since season two has now started. So I'm just hitting up my HBO Max here and just kind of going to relax and chill for the day. I'm so excited for season two. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of hygiene and self-care routine. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of format of a video, just something a little bit more relaxing and something different than I typically do. Um, I always enjoy watching these kind of videos, and I tried my best to kind of replicate that style um, with what I had and what I had to work with. So let me know if you guys do want to see more of these, any different things you want me to do, like an affordable one. If you guys want to see a certain scent routine, let me know. Maybe I can do these a little 
little bit more but yeah I thought this would be just kind of fun to film on this more relaxing day but I'm gonna go get back to my show here don't forget to check out Lily Silk I have them linked down below as well as any products I used in this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys